What baits work the best? Did you guys see that? That was awesome. Fish on. Fish on. Uh, if you guys are interested in starting to throw swim baits for giant bass, you may want to check this out. When, if you're just, you know, starting to dip your toes into these waters, you may not want to go out and spend 200 bucks on a reel and 200 bucks on a rod and, and you know, start off by buying a Depths 250 because that's just not realistic. Man, the wind is starting to rip. I'm sorry about that. Um, we're going to hit the water today with some affordable baits that are kind of like entry level and some flipping stick gear, some frog gear that you may already own and uh, show you what you can do to see if you like this type of fishing. But enough talking, let's get on to it. So what we're talking about here today, people, is uh, I've got my frog rod with me, right? Uh, I just got a standard Lose 150 size reel. I've got a Dobbins Fury 735 rod, and I've got a, uh, a four inch swim bait from Dream Smasher Swim Baits. This is some pretty good entry level stuff to see if you like this type of fishing. This rod is rated for up to an ounce and a half lure. This lure is an ounce and a half. Small baits like this will help you build confidence in getting bit. This is my very first time throwing this lure. And I'm interested to see, is it gonna get bit? What baits work the best? That's a, that's a tough question to answer. Um, a lot of people are, you know, a lot of people think about glide baits, and that's what we see a lot of, glide baits catching big fish. But believe it or not, soft baits are kind of the workhorse. Boom! Oh! Soft baits are the workhorse. Oh, just got tagged again. Good things. Good things so far. I got a couple other. Um... Oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta let him eat it longer. First time throwing this Dream Smasher <laughs> bluegill, it's getting munched. That's pretty cool. Especially if you guys are fishing ponds. Um, so any type of small four inch bluegill swim bait should get bit. I think if I was throwing a fluke right now, I'd be getting a lot more bites. But that's kind of what swim bait fishing is like. That's why I'm kind of making these videos because I want. Oh! Fish on! Oh, he hit it. I gave him time to eat it. Agony of defeat. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that felt like, that felt and looked like, I don't know, four, maybe five. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Win some, you lose some. This is swim bait fishing. You want to be a gunslinger? <laughs> this is kind of what it's like. Oh! 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 I'm gonna work my way out of here. Hang my head down low. Because I know that I've been 0 for 3. Come on, buddy. You're getting up here. Oh. 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 oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did I just dislocate my shoulder? Oh, my God. That did not feel good. I go take. It's getting it done. Thank you, sir. Be free. I see you. I see you. Just chilling. Yeah, flaring his gills. I caught him before. He had a broken jaw. I definitely caught him before. There he goes. First blood. Hey guys, thanks for making it to this part of the video. We're gonna break it down a little bit. Um, that was a blast, number one. Uh, I was out on the water for like 45 minutes. I showed up at the right time with the right bait and it was getting smacked. Uh, let's talk about a couple of things. Do you need dedicated swim bait gear to start throwing swim baits? You're thinking about getting into this. Uh, you think that it's cool and you want to see if you like it. Don't go out and buy a dedicated combo. Don't do it. Because you may not like the style of fishing if you haven't done it. What you need to do is you need to uh, use something that you already have if you have something that can handle the smaller baits. Use something like this. It doesn't have to be this rod or reel or bait, but if you have a frogging setup or a flipping setup, use that first. Um, go out, get a couple of entry-level swim baits, videos coming up on those soon, and use your frog gear, use your flipping gear, go out, throw swim baits, and get your zero or two or three or four or 12 bites, and then figure out, do I like this style of fishing? And if you do, do it again, and then do it again, and do it again, and do it again, and make sure that it's something that you really like before you go and drop three or four hundred bucks on a combo and then hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on baits uh, because it can get really really expensive really really quick and if you don't like it and you drop all that cash then you got to sell it you're not going to get what you paid for it you know what i'm saying so uh, my recommendation use something you got use your frog rod you don't have a frog rod go buy a frog rod what's wrong with you uh, some of the best fishing, most fun fishing you'll ever do. Plus, you can throw small swim baits on it and see if you like throwing swim baits. That's my opinion. That's where I'm at with it. Hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found this useful, especially if you're thinking about starting to throw swim baits. If you have any questions or comments, drop it down below. I'll, 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 I'll let you guys know everything that I know about it. I'm no expert, but I've been doing it for a little bit now, and I absolutely love it. And... 
Uh, if you found this useful, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. I'd love to be able to get this video into the hands of the people that need it and want it. Uh, that, those thumbs up really helps push that video out to the people that need it. Uh, I got to go. I got to go be a dad. Thanks a lot for watching White Whale Fishing. I appreciate you. I hope y'all are fishing. I hope y'all are catching tight lines.